All right, good morning, everyone. So I went around Phantom Forces servers and I looked for players who were doing really well. And then I tried to figure out what their loadouts were, either by asking them or trying to get killed by them. And now I've copied all their setups and we're gonna take a look at them. All right, so our first setup is gonna be an intervention by Con3631 with the Z point, flash hider, and red laser. Okay, now I'm not too sure about this setup. Just to begin with, like, usually you don't put a Z point on a sniper and usually the flash hider, you know, you, you don't put that on anything. Yeah, so we're gonna see if this works. I mean, it's the intervention. It should work. It should be pretty good. The thing I, I'm going to probably have trouble with is using the Z point because I'm kind of trash with this site. So because it's the intervention and I know this gun, I'm going to make some recommendations to the loadout. I think if you're going to go for like sniping with the site instead of a scope, I would probably go with either reflex or coyote site rather than the Z point. I, I mean, this guy was like pretty high rank, so I'm sure he has more than just a Z point unlocked. But, but yeah, for the Z point, basically, you don't get a lot of viewing space. That's kind of why I don't like it. But this guy was going like 14 and 1 with this setup. So he must have been pretty good with it. So I guess, it, I mean, sights are mostly just preference. But yeah, and then the flash hider. I don't think that's the best attachment. You, you should probably go with like a suppressor. You know, the suppressor, it's good because like it doesn't actually have too much downsides. It doesn't really decrease your muzzle velocity. It doesn't decrease your damage. I think that's a better barrel attachment to put on than the flash hider. But it doesn't really make too much of a difference. I'm not going to lie. I mean, the barrel attachment is definitely one of the more minor aspects of a sniper loadout i mean that's at least my opinion i am 17 and 3 though i'm not like hating the z point as much as i thought i would but yeah this gun man it's so good i'm kind of coming around to the idea of it being nerfed also i would definitely go with a straight pull bolt if you're going to use the intervention i just think it just it scopes in like too slow it doesn't like scope in too slow but the time it takes for you to scope in like since the last time you shoot is really really slow without the straight pull if that makes sense you know so yeah, I would go with the straight pull if it were me. But anyways, moving on, let's try out the next setup by General Toko. So the setup is the HK417 with Coyote Sight, Compensator, Pistol Grip, Full Stock, and then that's it. Now, um, I don't know really too much about this gun. I haven't used it much, and I mean, that's partly because I don't use battle rifles ever. I mean, it's definitely a very powerful gun. I wish I could like determine whether these attachments are the best for the recoil. I don't know if I'm able to make that judgment or not. But yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. Like the damage at long range, it's a three shot to the torso all ranges, which is nice. You also have a two shot to the head at close range. I wonder, wait, do you, do you have a two shot to the... No, nah, I was going to say two shot to the head at all ranges, but probably not. Yeah, I would find that pretty unlikely to be honest. Yeah, there is so much camera recoil on this. I would maybe consider like a folding instead of the pistol. I mean, it kind of works though. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really not too bad. The thing that I would worry about more is probably just having low bullets. You know, you only have 20 in the mag. I mean, I guess this is just the battle rifle form of the HK416. I'm not 100% sure on that, but that's what it seems like it would be. Bro, these, no, these people are actually bots. I don't know what's going on. I'm kind of liking it, but oh, okay. Maybe not. Dude, this guy's a T-break and a pistol grip and a remove stock on his BFG. There's no way that's even legal. Come on. I hear you. I hear you. Bro, I'm just going to pick this up. Oh my God, he's got a chainsaw grip on this. Dude, he was trying to make a minigun. No, dude, it doesn't work. I'm sticking to the good loadouts for this video. Oh my God, it has so much like camera vertical recoil, but it actually works. I don't know how. Bro, this guy just keeps walking up and down the stairs. I'm out of ammo. Oh no. I really want to keep this streak alive. I still had that MG3K. Bro. Hello? Alright, does anyone have ammo for a battle rifle? Probably not. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Bro, what are they doing? No, this is not fair. Okay, I'm still on 17. Let's go. I'm not using the gun though, which I feel kind of bad about, but we got to get to 20. It's like tradition. Okay, we're at 19. Just one more. There we go. 20 kill streak. It doesn't mean much because I'm in a lobby full of just bots. Oh, he almost, dude. I don't want to lose that. I want to get to 30. I'm out of ammo on both guns what do i do no the game ended i was on 26 oh that is unfair all right that's enough of the m 41 and the hk417 moving on all right so the next one is another battle rifle but it's not really a battle rifle okay and the setup is made by forrest gump so we basically got the reflex light compensator stubby grip tri laser and then the 5.56 conversion which kind of makes it like very similar to an m 41 
yeah i mean they're very similar this has not too much recoil it shoots pretty fast at 800 rpm and yeah it's pretty good i hate dynamite by the way I mean, there must be some sort of like thing that makes this better than the M4A1 if you would use it. Maybe not objectively, but there must be like some sort of, I don't know, quality that's a bit different with this. Right off the bat, I, I do kind of like it just for the feel. I don't really know about anything else, but it just feels really nice. All right, goodbye, multi. I could have just looked right over there. Yeah, I definitely like this gun so far. It doesn't really have the greatest damage though. I think this is more of like, you got to trust the fire rate and the recoil. Is it what? Okay, I just had the biggest lag spike there. No. Oh, no, teammate. No, don't do it. How did he survive that? What? Bro, my teammate is just invincible. I really like this. I don't really know why. I just, it feels so good. No, no, no. Stop. Stop throwing grenades. That's cheating. From now on, throwing grenades is cheating. Oh, no. Oh, no. Bro, everyone is shooting at me. Where is he? There we go. Let's go. We're getting a lot of multi kills. No, I couldn't figure out which to aim for, so I went in the middle. How did he walk by me? Bro, I knew there was a good reason to stay in this lobby after the last game. Oh my god, this thing is beautiful. The three shot, like, if you hit one headshot, I'm pretty sure at three shots. At close range, of course, but that is just so useful. And it's really not that hard to hit a headshot. You know, something I noticed about the recoil of this gun, it feels like it's more than it really is. It's like the the actual recoil is very small, but it's also very aggressive. All right, anyways, let's check out the next gun. So we have the setup by MC Meliodas 320. I don't know how to pronounce it, but yeah, we've got the Chris Vector with the DDHB Reflex, the PBS-1 Suppressor, Stubby Grip, Remove Stock, and most importantly, the 9mm Conversion. Thing I love about this is that you just hold it in one hand, you know, it's so like, it's so tiny. Look at that, and it shoots so fast. I mean, it is the vector, of course. But yeah, I mean, personally, I'm not sure if this conversion is actually worth it because, you know, you're only gaining a little bit of bullets and you lose the three shot. And I feel like the three shot with the 1200 fire rate is just, it just makes this gun insane at close range. Like, that's the whole reason to use it is just that three shot with such a high fire rate. Like, literally, no one can actually get you. Like, you just can't die at close range as long as you have, like, good aim and stuff. But when you lose the three shot, I don't know, it just seems, like, less impressive to me. Uh oh i thought for sure i was gonna die to that grenade okay i mean it still does kill extremely quickly but i'm just not like convinced that it's worth it i don't know we'll try it out anyways bro every time i spawn in i keep wanting to go to my secondary because it feels like i'm using a secondary here it just does okay it's a little bit chaotic on this map no no no, no. why do people do that oh i actually survived holy dude i think he just dropped the grenade accepting he was gonna die I see you. I honestly don't know how to handle this gun though. I feel like for a warehouse, something you really need is either a lot of bullets or like a lot of time before you need to reload again. And you just don't have that with this gun. Like it's kill someone and then reload right away. Oh my God. How did I dodge that guy? That was insane. Like it's, it's honestly, sometimes offense is just not good enough. So, like you need some good defense on this map, bro. I really just did join this lobby <laughs> where like everyone is just high ranked. All right. I did not do nearly as good that round. So let's check out the next setup by M Framand 0611. It's going to be the P90 with coyote sight, muzzle booster, folding grip, and blue laser. So I haven't used the P90 in quite some time, man. It's been so long, but first thing you'll notice about this gun is that it has 50 bullets as an SMG. So so that's kind of unique uh oh okay so right off the bat it it kind of has some unstable recoil but that's to be expected it also has like terrible damage it's a four to a six shot i think and that's kind of the reason that it has so many bullets so it kind of evens out i'm actually kind of liking it though i don't find the recoil to be too bad it works pretty well up to medium range i'd say i really like the fire rate too I don't know. I think I'm just biased towards guns that have high fire rates. They're just so much more fun to use, in my opinion. Look at that. We're 14 and 1, though. No. Where is he? Okay, I didn't get it. Bro, we've got these guys in a pickle. They're, they're doing so bad. We also do have the muzzle booster on, which gives it more recoil, but we get 972 fire rate. Instead of, it would be 900, so that's kind of... Like, 70 fire rate isn't that much, but it's definitely noticeable. Bro, did you see how many people spawned there? I would say like kind of similar to the MG36. This gun is like really good for crowds. When you see a bunch of people like clumped up together, you're likely to just hit all of them basically. 
that's not fair. There was absolutely nothing to vault over. Now, I should really use the P90 more, though. I might try to, like, look for a better setup, though. I mean, this one's good, but I'm sure there's a better one out there somewhere. You know, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not sure if the muzzle booster is the best way to go. Wait, where is he? Oh, there he is. He's under the train. All right, we did good. Yeah, that was fun. I really like that setup. Really like the gun in general. Anyways, last one is going to be by Known General Kiko. So this is going to be the MP5K with a 10 millimeter auto conversion. And I feel like this gun just has to be tried out on warehouse. I'm not sure why. All right, I, I should probably look at the stats on this gun. And now for some reason, I was just expecting it to be a laser, but it's clearly not. I mean, that doesn't mean it's bad. It just means it's not a laser. Now, it's a very interesting choice. He went for the long barrel because it just seems like bad on the gun. You know, you, you lose the three shot for like barely anything. So yeah, I think an improvement could be to take off the long barrel. I really just don't think on SMGs, it's, it's not worth it at all. I mean, oh, dude, this, this gun would be so much better with a three shot. I mean, for a four shot with this recoil, you know, it's not bad because of the the 900 fire rate right but it could be better you know it could be way better i think because this is the last loadout i'm just gonna take it off for like i don't know a couple minutes when we get close to wrapping up the video so not thrilled about the setup but it's definitely usable unless i'm missing something but i'm not like i i don't think i am all right we are kind of getting mad spawn trapped here okay bro you're gonna have to do better than just sitting on top of the wall i mean there's got to be a better strategy than that come on I mean, it doesn't make a free kill for me, though. We got to turn this spawn trap around. It is just really annoying playing this map when you can't even go anywhere. Like, at this point, we can barely even spawn. All right, so I think we did get out of the spawn trap, which is nice. It would be nice if I could aim, you know? There we go. All right, I kind of want to get a multi with this. That's just his strategy. He just sits on the top of the wall. Actually, you know what? Okay, I want to take off the long barrel now. And then I think I'm going to add like a compensator. It kind of has a lot of side to side. So maybe this will be a little bit better. And now we have the three shot, which is really nice. What is he? No, bro. I think that guy was hacking. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, it's definitely better with the three shot. Oh, no, we didn't get the multi. No way, you're not killing me with an SFG. Not today. Look, he was doing it again. Bro, it just doesn't work. Oh, there we go. We got the multi. All right, six multi. Let's go. Okay, I'm just going to finish the round and then we'll end the video. I'm liking this setup actually like quite a bit. What are you doing? Oh, no. Oh, that was a nice collat. So taking off the long barrel, it allows you to like improve the recoil at the same time. So yeah, definitely the move in my opinion. Huh? Dude, no way. D bro, he's just clearly hacking. He was doing so bad to, like, his movement. Oh, my. Dude, I just hate these hackers. Yeah, so, like, we escaped the spawn trap, but we didn't actually manage to get a spawn trap going ourselves. So, they, yeah, they just won. But, yeah, anyways, that was the video. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I mean, I certainly did. These setups were pretty good. I didn't have too many, uh, too many issues with them, but, yeah, that was fun. So, if you watched at the end, I really, really appreciate it. I'm gonna start saying that more often because it just, it's really important for people to watch to the end. So, yeah, if you did, thank you so much. And, yeah, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.